But the AP says Senator-elect Dan Sullivan is the new U.S. Senator from the state of Alaska, and Senator-elect Dan Sullivan has already jumped on a plane, making it to Washington just in time for important Senate meetings today. But still tonight, Democratic Senator Senator Mark Baggage is not conceding, and Senator-elect Sullivan joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Greta, great to be here. Thanks welcome, for having me. Welcome to Washington. Thanks. Oh, you've been here before, though. Um, so tell me, what about Baggage, uh, Senator Baggage? Well, you know, we have, I mean, we, our election was last week. I actually, after our election went off, and did some Marine Corps training, so I'm still in the reserves and was focused on that. And then, you know, when the uh, AP and other news organizations called it, uh, I was being respectful of the process, but also wanted to get down here, get, you know, roll up my sleeves, do work for my fellow Alaskans. We had important meetings today, and people are talking about committee assignments and things like that, so uh, had some votes today. So um, I wanted to be here for those very important meetings. What committee do you want? Well, you know, I'm looking at a number of uh, different ones. Uh, commerce is very important, particularly given uh, the importance of our fisheries in Alaska. Um, uh, environment and public works, you know, one of the things I ran on, one of the things I've fought as Attorney General in Alaska is the federal government's overreach, the EPA's overreach, shutting down our opportunities. So I think that's a would be a great uh, committee to be focused on. And then armed services, you know, I'm still serving in the Marines, and uh, there's a lot of important issues with our military in Alaska and for the country. How about Keystone? Am, am I, I mean, if Keystone goes through, doesn't that hurt the revenue for oil in Alaska? Because that, doesn't that uh, all of a sudden flood more oil? So No, I mean, yeah, mo it's most... Not gonna, it's mo not a bad thing for Alaska? No, mo the vast majority of Alaskans are very pro-resource development. You know, we do it more responsibly. Even if it's going to cut into your bottom line, I well, think? Well, I, I think that, you know, what we want is a federal government that's a partner in opportunity, particularly with regard to energy. And, you know, you... you Spent a lot of time in Alaska. I love we, Alaska. We have the opportunities are limitless in my great state with regard to energy. And you know, one of the other things I ran on is seizing this great opportunity, this American energy renaissance that's happening not only in Alaska but all over the country. We've had a federal government that's not doing that. Keystone's a great example, but in Alaska, you know, they're they're shrinking our ability to get to federal lands where there's tremendous resources. We need to seize this opportunity. It's a tremendous opportunity and Keystone's part of that. I know uh, you've been on a plane coming from Alaska. I'm curious, have you followed the Gruber? Uh, have you yet sort of read in on the Gruber? Uh, yeah, I've been watching some your of that. Your thoughts on Mr. Gruber? Well, you know, it's, um, it's part of a broader issue with Obamacare. You know, when I was attorney general, I was one of the attorneys general who sued to stop it. And w one of the issues about Obamacare I think a lot of people miss, it's not just the what he talked about, kind of lack of transparency. It's also the regulations. I mean, mm -hmm. when you look at the implementing regs, for Obamacare, not the statute, the implementing regs, 22,000 pages. It's left. crazy. And I should tell the viewers, and maybe you don't want me to tell us, it's your birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, big, it's, it's a pretty big one. I won't tell the viewers, but can I just say one thing to you? I don't feel the least bit sorry for you. I saw what it is. I don't feel the least bit sorry for you. But it, happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. I didn't know you were going to tell the viewers. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate um, that. Welcome to welcome to Washington. I hope you come back often, sir. Okay, thanks. Great to be here. And speaking